300 the leader of the market in Penang is Intel, for example. The group of all the first um, honor degree uh, students, for example, they pay that high. And that determines the entry level of the individual, the worker to the organization. Therefore, uh, Mr. Tam, to answer your question, that is forever still very important. Nevertheless, from what HR can see, HR can see a lot of things. We can see everyone's salary, we can see everyone's profession, every single details of the employees in the organization. I've seen many, many cases. Why I say that the, the, the education still makes the difference? When I did out, do the thorough employee studies or review of certain level of employees because in the Penang market, there were three scenarios happening. One, when we talk about the DR hybrid, DR, all companies almost shouting that, you know, we don't have the locals to support since the government is not able to release the foreign workers yet, MOU is not signed yet because of the pandemic, and so and so forth. Therefore, yesterday session, when the Minister of HR was here, and this is really overwhelming. So, the DR, the DR, the minimum wage at 1,200, and there is that level of employees, then most probably the education is not that relevant. But the higher level education is where bringing in into the starting where they are, starting point from where they are, okay? Second scenario is about the indirect labor. Indirect labor is like, you know, at least technicians or at least support and above level. So in Pinan market, um, not all jobs uh, have vacancies. But in the recent years, what we can see is that those engineers, general engineers, technicians can be test, equipment, IE, process, you name it. And the technicians in the similar field, also the buyers and the planners come with a very high attrition rate somehow. In the industry, the attrition rate is in the past before the pandemic for the IDL executive level is like below 2% as a measurement. And for the direct labor, it's like 4 to 5% as a measurement per month, right? So we see abnormality in the last, in this year and also last year, where these few uh, positions that I mentioned, the attrition is more than 3%. That is pretty scary, right? They, they may be caused by two scenarios. One, there are so many huge companies uh, starting their business at the Batu Pawan area. So sometimes we are the victim of the government. We face more and more challenges. And that is where when we see, oh, why we got so much of attrition and not enough people. It may be true, but it may not be true because people, these people, they are moving around to fill in the positions. All right? The second part of it is maybe it's true, for example, area that is not enough and the very niche very difficult to hire engineers or uh, positions. They are in my industries. If we have automation, I think uh, uh, Dr. Asmi has shared very well about automation. It's not taking out jobs. It's just to replace those routine jobs which, which, which can be done better by robotics or by robots huh? or by uh, and now people, you know, it's a development of artificial intelligence of having computer programming of robots to do what people can do, for example, right? So like what uh, Dr. Asmi shared just now with the robots serving the uh, food. In both our countries, we have that also, but it's not serving food in the canteen, but it's still, the robotic is to help to deliver goods and with the specific line, you will go through the line, you will turn just like the railway, stage, railway. you will have the reel for the robot to move around, for example, right? 